YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. We've been having a ton of fun with this game, and recently there has been a brand new update, which we're going to check out over the next few episodes. Now, I've even heard that there's a new ghost on the next house. However, first, we're going to check out the old house, see if we can find any ghost activity there. I really hope you join me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you liked the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. The other day, this client contacted me because they think their house might be haunted. The wife stated she had heard odd noises like footsteps throughout the house. The husband, on the other hand, has seen a full-body apparition. One night, he was sitting watching TV in the living room while the family was asleep. A man of average build appeared. At first, he thought someone broke into the house because the entity seemed so real. It turned and looked at him, too. About as quickly as he caught eye contact with them, it vanished. The family has heard footsteps throughout the main floor. Initially, they chalked it up to the house settling, but after seeing the ghost, they're certain it's not the house settling anymore. The family wants to understand what is haunting their home. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Alrighty, so uh, immediately we get some little tidbits of information. I love the information in this one. You can basically immediately know what goes to this and what you're looking for after the like the story at the beginning. Here, they saw a full body apparition, which means it's probably not a poltergeist instantly because poltergeists don't tend to do that. And he locked eye contact with the ghost. Now, any uh, I don't think residuals ever look at the ghosts. Or, like, they, they are not aware of uh, the people in the house, so they won't actually look at you. So it's gonna be an intelligent, most likely, because it doesn't seem to be tied to any person. Demons possess people. Doesn't seem that. Poltergeist would not show itself. Residual wouldn't be aware of the people around it. So it's gotta be an intelligent. So we already know what type of ghost we're looking for, so we can take a quick peek at the journal. Intelligent ghosts are named so because they have the capacity to communicate and interact with the living, which means that we're looking for uh, disembodied voices. Uh, wait. Um, investigators have witnessed irregularities with both the EMF meter and the temperature sensor. So we're going to find EMF and sensors or and temperature. EVPs are often obtained after asking the spirit questions as well as recording disembodied voices. So this is a, I think, shadow person that they're talking about. There's two different ones, right? Oh, no. The second category is shadow people. So shadow people also give EMF and temperature, but they don't give EVP. So they good they they give disembodied voices, whereas the other one gives gives EVP as well. So if we're, I, they didn't say that it was a shadow, right? They didn't say like it was a, that it was a shadow. So I'm gonna expect um, that we find a oh I should keep that open that we find a non-shadow person residual. So we're gonna actually get some EVPs potentially. All right, let's look around. EMA five is how it always starts. Okay, so they said um, in the around the, the television, right? So we're going to be walking around the television trying to find something. Not the television itself. That's not going to help us at all. Um, similar to the shadow ghost we found last time. Where the, the shadow ghost, we turned on the lights and the ghost went completely crazy. I don't know if that's going to be the case again. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to be chilling with Conrad. I'm glad Conrad's back. You should be... Oh, you should start to complain if we turn this on, right? Does he complain? You want to say anything, Conrad? That I'm a little baby for keeping the lights on? Or no? It's very stable. Wait, you're not going to say anything about it? Wait, we need to check. Wait a minute. How do I... I didn't check the settings, but I, I turned on voice acting before, obviously. Um, so unless they keep forgetting my settings, but I don't think they do that anymore. Uh, we could start with literally EVP. Why don't Why don't we start with that? Uh, is this your home? Is this your home? They made the camera bigger. It's very nice. Yeah. Is this your home? What if it just started with that? What if it just started screaming at us right away? I don't think that's 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 what you. I've never seen. I think we have seen. We have heard voices as the first evidence before, but never had we had an EVP be the first evidence. Uh, all right, walking around, just waiting for the ghost to, to get used to us. It's like it's like um, I don't know. This is gonna be a very me specific anecdote, but I used to always watch frogs in a pond at my grandparents, and the way you would watch them is you would sit. Oh, hello! I found it. You want to say anything? Excuse me, Conrad. 
We, we, don't, there you go. Okay, so Conrad's still here. Thank God. Uh, Conrad's still here commentating on everything, which is perfect because it's exactly what we want. Th that's ex that's what I was looking for as well. They said that EMF and temperature readings, like, they go together, right? So we should be looking for EMF or for low temps right around when we find EMF. Um, but as I was saying, uh, I would be looking at frogs in the pond. And basically the way you would do that is by just sitting as still as possible. So you would become part of the environment. And then the frogs would just start jumping around as if you weren't there. Is it? I don't know if anyone else is the same has done this ever in their life. I think it's very specific, but I have fond memories. You did that with birds? Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, this and and that anecdote is purely to to to, to talk about how this ghost basically works the same. We just got we just got to make ourselves part of the environment, and then the ghost will start to become active, basically. <laughs> yeah, we got we got the first reading, which is uh, which was the EMF. Let's look for some temps, maybe. We're looking around the TV. Make sure not to get jabated by the fins. Always, always fun. We don't have to go into the basement this time. It's creep. Wait. The doors make different noises now. They make creaking noises. I like it. <laughs> Door sounds. <laughs> Holy shit. How advanced. Okay, anyway. I'm, I'm too easily impressed. That's definitely new. There was also some new uh, decor on the other map, but we can't have access to the other map yet because our, you have to do this mission first. I think after three or four missions, you get access to the next map. So maybe next time we'll be able to do that. All right, you're being very quiet. I know it's part of the drill, but maybe maybe you like uh, the, the EMF more. Maybe you're more of an EMF kind of ghost. Because that definitely worked early on. I mean, if it was around the television, it, they said the full main floor, so I would expect to just, like, sweep the whole floor and we'd find something. Epictetus, thank you for the prime, and she... Ooh, that Ooh. is eerie audio evidence. Connor, you scared me, Jesus! <laughs> Wait, this is totally new. I've never heard this before. Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. Can we just keep recording? It's walking outside. Wow, that's great audio. Evidence. Dude, I'm just farming. Don't mind me. I'm just farming this ghost. Hello? I'll keep that as audio. Yeah, evidence. you scare me, Conrad. Holy shit, look at that. We instantly got more than three pieces of audio evidence. Let's go. Easy. Get farmed, dumbass. Nice. I mean, that was a lot of noise right there. What was... Oh, it's still going. Okay, it walked in the house. I'm gonna do it right here. Why are you here? Why are you here? Sam, thank you for the three months. Can you, Can tell, you tell me your, me name? your name? Hello? Can you tell me your name? Maybe not the right place to be. Stopped walking around. Does that mean you've settled and you have found yourself a cold spot to call home? I would love to find that cold spot. Ada, thank you for the two months. Is it just me or has this fan been on the entire time? Has it ever turned off? Is it just... I guess it's just hot in here today. Maybe this bath... <laughs> Holy shit. These are I'll new noises. I've evidence. never heard that one before. They, he's added a bunch of new sounds and stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> That's good replay value. Let's go. I can't wait to find more stuff. Wait, is it going to mean there's going to be new apparitions and stuff? Oh, no. I think that I don't remember that ever. That sounded so, I don't know, so like desperate. That sound. That's freaky. Okay, give me something. Just gonna stand here for a moment. Mm. Right away. 
The uh, this is normal noises. Uh, the the fan just went off. This chair has always been like this, right? It's just ready for me to sit on it. Why don't you? Why can't you jump in this game? I mean, I know you can't jump. The one thing that I would like to see is crouching. I don't know why. Crouching just. It's oop. Okay. So it's back. It's outside at the back. Ah! <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man? Hello? I didn't see a thing. Did anyone? Did you see him? I didn't see him. Holy shit, he was crying. I didn't think. I didn't see the thing. A single thing. I guess we're standing over here now. Uh, is something wrong? Is there anything you would like to tell is me? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Why are you crying? Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Uh, do you like, do you the, like current the current family, family living here? Give it to me. Do you like the current family living here? No demonic noises. That's good. In general, at least. Okay, guess give me some give me some EMF. I haven't gotten a single cold spot. Which is weird. I feel like this ghost is, is upside down right now. Not like physically, but in terms of evidence. It's been jumping me when I don't expect it at all. I'm gonna turn on the lights in the kitchen. This is good lighting. I like it. This is a very strong kitchen light. I appreciate a good strong light. I'm tired of all... I know I've said this before, but I'm tired of all these ghost hunting games having, like, the worst lighting imaginable. If you turn on the light in a room, it should light up the room. That's what they're for. The fact that most ghost hunting games when you turn on the light in a room like this there would literally be one tiny little itty bitty light in the middle of the room that would like leave the corners of the room completely pitch black and it'd be like it doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever <laughs> just like who has lights like that we just keep this on i think we turn it off <laughs> what the fuck which door did you just close? That one? Oh, you did. Okay. Does that mean you're here? You you still have to find somewhat of a ghost room in this game. Because the ghost will choose... <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? Do you hear these sounds? Ooh, I... That is eerie audio evidence. I swear I turned off the light. Didn't I turn off the light? Did I forget to turn off the lights? Hello? I did turn it off? What the fuck? That's terrifying. Do you know why I'm here? So good. Do you know why I'm here? I don't think I turned it back on. Okay, well, turn it off. Go into this area, because this is where we had the door close. Why are you here? Okay. Why are you here? Can you tell me your name? Come on, give me something. Can you tell me your name? Brian wow, Connor? that sounded like a response. That oh, it actually said something back. It actually said its name. It's Private Connor. Whoa, this is the first time we've actually got an audible response. Let's go. Holy shit. <laughs> That's sick. Wait, so we have uh, I've obtained plenty of paranormal audio evidence on this investigation, including one EVP. The EVP clearly sounds like a voice responding to my question. We've gotten so much audio, yet not even a single bit of temperature. It's insane. 
How does that happen? Shush! Excuse! The EMF meter should not behave this Ice. way. This is read, paranormal. Read, readings. Give me the temp! Give me the temp gun! God damn it. I was too late. Oh, now it's getting quiet mode. So it's in this general area. We got the response right over here. So maybe we'll get the cold spot right over here as well. Hello? Yeah, they removed some of the lines. I think that the way they have it now is pretty freaking good. Like, I think this is a good middle ground. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Ah! <gasps> I'm not going in there. You can open that door all you want, and I will close it back up again. I will not go into the basement. I know last time I went into the basement, and it made me never want to go back ever again. The basement is absolutely cursed. It's fucked. If you want to watch that one, search the demon, the last, or... Search the last paranormal PI video. What the frick? That was normal, I guess. Was it though? Do you like the family? Do you like the current family living here? This is such a good game. Do you like the current family living here? I love how you wait so long before he responds. So you, you're like, okay, it's not gonna do anything, and then all of a sudden it goes. And you're just like fucking mortified. <laughs> you didn't pay attention for two seconds. <laughs> okay, let me just keep the readings. It's I like that I like that about this game. Like where the where you you're like scanning the whole building at first, and then you find some like Are you down there? Is that what you're telling me? Do you want me to go into the basement? Don't go? Is anyone here? If you close that door back up, man, I'm gonna scream and run out this house. What's behind this door? What's behind that door? Are you hiding? No! Just leave. Get out of this fucking basement. This, you see what I'm doing? No, no, <laughs> get out. Holy shit, I hate it here. I hate it here. Close it. No, never again. Fuck the basement. It's fucked. <laughs> That's the worst place. I'm never going back. Holy shit. That is so creepy. It's terrifying. I am one million percent sure I didn't touch that light. Uh, excuse me? I am so sure I didn't touch that. I, don't, I think the ghost is up here. This The ghost is up here, guys. I don't have to go back into the basement because the ghost is right here. You see? I'm going to find cold readings any moment now. Something is going See? on. See? What did I say? I called it. Definitely a <laughs> I, I opened. You don't make. I'm not going back. I'm never going back again. I will film you. Show yourself at the top of the stairs, huh? I'll turn off your light. If you want me to go down there, tell me. Let me see. Maybe we have to chat. Uh. Do you know why I'm here? <laughs> Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? <laughs> oh my god. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? See that anti-aliasing on the plates, by the way? Holy shit, it's going wild. Or like the the aliasing, I should say. 
or a super sampling. I forgot the ter terminology for these things. A chef that they give it the six months. Give me, um, give me a sign. Is this your home? Is this your home? Holy shit. It turns so quiet. You did you know by the way that I'm not like when you hear those footsteps and I'm not walking around, it's a ghost. Like there's someone here, obviously. I'm gonna close it back up. Please leave that door closed. You saw an apparition at the TV. Why don't you show yourself at the TV? Don't make me go back into the basement. Ding dong? Oh, it's the clock. I thought someone was at the door. I was like, what the heck? Who's there? Anyone? Hello? Uh, Conrad? Connor? Sorry, Connor? Connor, you want to show yourself? Want to talk with me? I'm going to be watching some television now. So innocent. Hello? Connor? Oh, it's so quiet. I hate it. <laughs> Tell Dimas, thank you for the 200 biddies. I think he's here. I don't think we have to go back into the basement. Okay, if the fan goes back on, I like that, because that makes giving me some extra noise. No jump scare. I'm looking down the hallway. I'm expecting someone to show up there. Right where the where the the, the bag is hanging. No. Hello? Honor? Why are you here? Why are you here? Why are you here? No response. Maybe close all the doors. It's not in the basement, guys. The door hasn't opened for a long time. That means the ghost is not there anymore. Hello? <clears throat> what if we... We've gotten no natural explanation. This is evidence for paranormal activity. My EMF meter has absolutely detected paranormal activity. We just need a photo. If there is anything here, maybe there's just nothing here. Maybe the doors were just. Maybe the the fan turning on opens like the doors, you know. Hello. There's no way it's. They didn't describe it as being in the basement. I have everything on camera. Did I open that door? I don't, I think I just ran out. I did? Maybe I did. Um... Hello? Is anyone here? Ah! This shit's fucking cursed. Connor's here. Do you want the lights on, Connor? I can turn the lights on for you. You want to? There you go. Any lights? Please, let me turn on the lights. There you go, it's on now. Stop. 
Stop antagonizing me. So right. Ask things in the basement. Is there actually gonna be EMF in the basement? Wait! Connor? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? It's definitely down here. How, this quest did not used to go like this. I don't think I've ever seen basement activity outside of the demon mission. This is cursed. I'm gonna turn it off again. Hello? Do you want me to go down into the basement, Connor? Private Connor. Is anyone here? Would anyone like to show themselves? There's no light anymore in the basement. Pretty sure that's a good sign? Okay, stuff turns off. That's fine. We had so many screams in the basement. Every time we go into the basement, it like scream. Maybe there's something down there that it doesn't want us to find. Maybe it's an automatic light. Maybe I said, uh, Alexa, turn on the lights or something. <laughs> okay, Google, turn off the lights. I don't understand. Honor? Is anyone here with me? Maybe the screams are the... They did say they saw a full-body apparition. So I don't see how... So we should be able to... To see the ghost. <clears throat> you just turned your lights off? Get fricked. <laughs> you just turned my Alexa off. Hey, Bixby! Why do you exist? <laughs> Any Bixby users in the chat? <laughs> Bixby in the street. Why are you crying? What? What's wrong? How many people are here other than me? You're so sad. How many people are here other than me? No more responses. I'm telling you, something's off. <gasps> You're back here now? You want me to leave? Are you... You're making me go out the door, aren't you? You know what? I'm gonna close these doors. I'm gonna leave the place as it was. Maybe you- maybe you're gonna feel more at home if I d haven't disturbed everything here. That better? I'm gonna look at the TV. TV is where they said they saw the apparition. And we are hearing so many sounds here now. And no door has opened recently, no light has turned on recently. So I'm thinking it's probably here. I should be looking for EMF. That could actually be a great way to... Dude, there's so much noise, but no... Nothing to see. That's how I came from this room. I'm turning on this light. Walk in? Hello? 
Do you want the lights on? Give me a sign if you want the lights on. I think, I mean, I'm just gonna... Okay, maybe it does want the lights on? Wait, what? I, I'm not... I don't understand you! Use your words, Connor! In the dark? I mean, it's constantly talking to me, but nothing... Is any light on in the basement again? No. Okay, nothing in the basement. I'm just gonna leave that place the way it is. I don't want to be there. I'm telling you, uh, maybe upstairs? Why? Did you not hear that? He said like, why? Up when I, as soon as I got up the stairs. This is so much more interesting. Like these ghosts are, are, are showing so much more like different personality this time than I've ever seen before. I've never seen the ghost be outside of the area specified in the, in the mission briefing. That's cool. Okay. I don't know how to... We need to finish this quest, but we have to see an apparition on the main floor of the house before we can call it in. Otherwise, we just don't get... Sounds like he's right there. Hello? Sounds like he's staying right next to the couch, just walking in place. I think? Any EMF anywhere? I don't know if... I mean, finding more evidence generally makes it angrier. Oh. Is it gonna say Can it again? Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me your name? Hmm. It's not saying anything. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? We've only gotten one EVP response so far. I don't think we've gotten enough evidence to call this one in. Like, I genuinely think this ghost playing with us. I'd be so sick if you could have outside stuff. I know you have outside stuff on... On the other map. Something in the trees. This is a very good... I like the forest next to this house. Is he upstairs? I don't think he is. Did I touch these doors? I mean, I never went up here, so I would think no. But I don't know if they start open or closed. I'm just gonna close them again so we know now. All the doors are closed upstairs. All right, Connor. Is there anyone here? Show yourself or hold your peace forever. No more Ram, thank you for the 10 months. Am I like not in the right spot anymore? Oh, no, that was nothing. I mean, we gotten all our EMF in this circle. I guess we should... 
I guess we should stay around this area. This is such cursed noise. The light's back on in the basement. Is it here? Hello? What a rare experience to take a photo of a ghost. It was here! What the fuck? It was in the basement all along. I need to go. This is why we never go into the basement. This is why we never, ever, ever open this door. Holy shit. That's so cool. I love that they have made the ghost so mobile now. Wait, this is like, you're... That's such a different feeling. Before, it felt very much like the owners tell you a room. You go to that room. You just stand in that room with the EMF. And then eventually you just, like, get evidence. Now you're, like, you're dealing... I mean, you. it always kind of felt like you were dealing with an intelligent being. But, like, this is, this is next level. I'm gonna turn off your light. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh, Connor? I'm not afraid of you anymore. I mean, I'm very afraid, but if I look afraid, you'll kill me. Maybe. I just saw a floating head. I actually did get the photo. I've taken a photo. What seems to be an intelligent ghost. The ghost looked right at me before vanishing. We actually did it. I think we're gonna go. I think I think I've seen enough of this basement to last a lifetime. At least it wasn't the demon, but that place definitely cursed. I must have opened the door. I, I'm gonna. I, I opened the door. Y yes, I hope. I. This game makes me question every move I make. Anyway, uh, let's call that one in, huh? <laughs> I did do that. I thought the ghost opened the door for me and was like, "It's time for you to leave." <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Did we? I don't know if we got enough photos, but we definitely... I mean, I think we did do most. Yes! Okay, perfect. And an audio should be 100% full. Yes! Okay, gold trophy. It's ours, man. That was a spooky one. Um, so this was an intelligent ghost. Uh, is under the impression that it is an individual who has a strong connection to the house. Uh, but the homeowners didn't know them. Uh, and we should learn about the history to maybe get rid of it. But there's no reason to worry. It's just it's just an intelligent ghost. It's not actually going to kill you in any way. Okay, that was awesome. What an, what an amazing mission. I think you have to do four or five of the five missions before you get access to the next map. So let's do another one. Let's see what we can find. Poi Poik Street. <laughs> A family contacted me last week wanting someone to come and investigate their home. They believe their house may be haunted. They mentioned the activity started a few months back. The first incident occurred while the missus was in the kitchen cooking dinner. She was cutting some vegetables when behind her a cup fell to the floor. She figured one of the kids probably left it on the edge of the counter and she inadvertently bumped it. As weeks went by, the activity started picking up. About every night something is being thrown somewhere in the house. Sometimes it is just sounds, but other times there is a mess to be picked up. On one occasion, there was a mess made in the kitchen and the homeowners went to grab a broom. Upon turning back around, the mess vanished and everything was put back into place. The noises are terrifying the family and they want them to stop. They contacted me to get to the bottom of this. I'm sure I'll be able to find enough evidence to support their claims and put their minds at ease. Well, obviously we are dealing with a poltergeist here. Which, I have never seen a poltergeist show themselves, but I don't know if that's because I haven't gotten a crazy enough poltergeist. Or, uh... <laughs> maybe, maybe it's possible. I have no idea. It seems that there's definitely new type of evidence or new type of interactions on the missions that already were in the game before. So that's very cool. Okay, so kitchen activity, right? Let's start simple. Start with an EMF. See if we can get any readings near the kitchen. Anything here? What the heck? Immediately? Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. I have been here for 30 seconds, sir. Holy shit. What is your name? Maybe maybe we Can just gotta introduce name? ourselves. Dude, what the fuck? 
can you tell me your name? I don't think they do EVP, do they? Let me look at the book. So since we're dealing with the poltergeist, let's take a quick uh, peek at the activity or at what we can expect here. Uh, we can expect floating stuff. I can't wait. I don't know if this... I've never seen this before. I don't know if it's in there. Uh, we have... Additionally, EVP evidence is absolutely obscure, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But it's very obscure, apparently. Okay. Um... People are un un oh yeah, the second thought is that these ghosts were former people who are unhappy with the current residents. So how about we ask them on the on this? Do you like the current family? Do you like the current family living here? Thank you, White Eye. Do you like the current family living here? Dang it. I was expecting that to work. Gosh darn. Okay, let's just, let's just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Start with the basics. Look around. A cup fell from the table, they said? There's no cup on the table right now. It would be cool if there were responses, yeah. Okay, let's, let's look around. We have this again. We have the, the fridge that can get very high. The oven can get very high. The microwave can get very high. Even the co the coffee machine does not get very high. Interesting. Can you give us a sign? Maybe lights on? I don't think I've ever done that against you. Dude, this is a fancy house. Rugs in your in your kitchen like this? That's asking for trouble. These rugs are gonna be dirty like so fast. You know what? You guys take a quick peek at this ghost. Well, I um, close my windows. I want to be even more immersed. Hello? Anything happen? <laughs> Anything creepy happen? One second. Oh, what the heck did I just do? Wait, I saw something fly. What the heck? What the fuck is going on? I didn't even hear it. I think because I did, okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I turn off my lights. <laughs> I turn off my or I uh, close my uh, my blinds and shit hits the fan. Okay. Well, this ghost seems to be crazy. I haven't even found anything yet. I've just what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's return to normal. That didn't happen. That's just that was our imagination. Very loud. Pink. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Bonk. Pink. Definitely flying place. From what I saw, I saw it a split second, but it seemed like it flew from over here to down there, not from here to there. That's interesting. Okay, let, let's actually get the normal readings now. We haven't looked at this yet. Hi, right, Krista. Thank you for the sub. So we're looking for everything. Um, Poltergeist does. EMF and cold spots before activity. So if we get cold spots, we know that there might be some activity happening very soon afterwards. I don't know why I keep the lights on. I just, I don't know. It feels better <laughs> sometimes. I'm going to stand here. Hit me. Huh? I would love to. You know what? I would love to see or hear a poltergeist. There's gotta be. Why are you? Why are you here? The last sentence in the book, wait, sir. Why are you this. here? Temp before and EMF is after, wait, okay. Most of the activity has been in the kitchen. So that's what we're looking for here, okay. That's been new. So no no other places. But we never know. Maybe it's going to be a basement poltergeist in just a few minutes. Who knows? Huh? I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Please don't go there. Please, no more basement. It's been enough. Enough is enough. 
Oh, it's a logarithmic scale, actually, on this thing. It goes from 1.5 to 2.5 to 10 to 20 plus. Show us the real spirit box. It looks very different from the one that they have in this game. It's it's the one that I have is literally the one from Phasma. Hello? What the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm turning this shit off. <laughs> fuck that. More ads. Yeah, there were more ads. Yep. <laughs> oh, the quiet. It hits you like a truck. That's that good stuff. That, that just nails the atmosphere even better. Okay. I think this ghost is offended. That I wasn't... Whoa. Hello? Dude, something is up here. Didn't you see? Didn't you see, Conrad? I did, went all the way down hmm, there. These temp readings are unusual. I was just two steps ahead of you. Come on, there's gotta be more. Now, wait, that does mean EMF now, maybe? Or does that mean we get activity now? Because it did say... EMF and cold spots before activity. Now we have the camera out, maybe? Hello? No? Uh, hello? More cold spots, I guess? Cold spots. It's 15 degrees here. You should, you would totally feel a change in temperature like that. The, you're not gonna talk about what I just saw, Conrad? Conrad, we need to we need to speak about this. You're what? Are you okay? Sir. How did you not see that? What the heck? Okay, maybe Maybe this? Conrad's gone. He left us mid mission. I swear I just saw, like, a full-body apparition there, but it was actually just this coffee machine. Universe, thank you for the prime. I'm going crazy. EMF-5? Is that- These lights are acting funny. I thank should continue you. investigating. Usually EMF-5 out of nowhere in not next to machinery is pretty concerning. But that means temperature now, right? Temperature? No. These are just, these are just the, the fans or the vents. Ryan, thank you for the 200 biddies. Hello? Are you going to do anything? I would love to get this. I'm going to ask this question again. Do you like the I current like family the living here? Significant question. Do you like the current family living here? God damn it. I would love to. I would kill for a poltergeist EVP. Or a poltergeist apparition. They would it would have to make me king of the ghost hunting club back at home. Stay frosty, thank you for the two months. Is this my home hell? Oh! Wow, it had enough energy to make a mess? This with the recorder evidence supports a poltergeist being present. You see it? Wait, it's gone. Wow, it had enough energy to make a mess. This it was already gone, Conrad. Supports a You're lying. Present. You're lying. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? It, so, it looked like it came from over here and fell down there, not from there. But there were no plates on this. It had enough energy to make a mess. Wait, we literally got everything? I should focus on this spot more. We've not done that. We have also not had enough. Hello? Come on. Just random EMA five? Is this a coffee machine? No, this is not the coffee machine. Conrad, what do you think of this? These lights are acting funny. Come on, tell me. Tell me. Tell me that the lights are acting funny. The EMF meter should not behave yes. this way. Yes. This is paranormal. Thank you. That's what we like to hear. Come on. We still need... I should focus on... So we have an EMF. Absolutely paranormal. 
We have a photo, obviously. Um, I mean, I would love to get more audio. Could I record the audio? You know what? I'm gonna try that. If he throws this again, I'm not gonna take a photo, but I'm gonna record the audio instead. That's extraordinary That's audio evidence. That's the stickiest evidence. fart I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Got him. Three pieces of audio evidence. That was a long one. That was a deep one. <laughs> this ghost is letting it rip. Why is there no, like, smell evidence? <laughs> Imagine. Okay, come on. That's the fan. Dad, it's not the fan that was so low. What the heck? Come on. This is just the fans. Hey, Kyle, thank you for the three months. Perfect! That was a very unusual Nice. Moment. I'll keep that as evidence. Okay, more than three pieces of audio evidence. I think we're good. We just, I mean, we would love to see more of this, but the ghost maybe is, is past being cold. It's just, so never mind. <laughs> okay, These nice, perfect. Are definitely paranormal. Very good. I think it can also throw this at you. Like one of these. I don't know if there's more throwing behavior now. Like, I don't know if he's added, it didn't say it in the patch notes. The patch notes were very, very barren. Like, I've added some stuff on this map, some stuff on that map. Go figure it out. No spoilers. <laughs> oh! Wow. It had enough energy to make a mess. This with the recorder evidence supports a poltergeist being present. Wow, that's great audio evidence. It works double. That's so cool. You can... So, I mean, here I got them both, but you could decide to record the audio instead of the taking the photo. Very nice. I've obtained more than three pieces and we've taken two photos. I think... That is more than well enough, uh, good enough evidence. No basement uh, ghost on this one. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Anyway, that was an awesome mission. <laughs> that was... I don't know what's up with the ghosts, man. The ghosts are getting more aggro. They just immediately start doing their... Uh, can I go there? Wait a minute. They immediately start with, like, sounds and stuff. I don't think I can walk this way. This makes me... I want an open-world ghost hunting game. Imagine... Imagine you walk down this, you come upon a small house in the woods with a single light on. You enter, and then the ghost hunt begins. Dude, I need that. I need a map like that in this game. Holy shit. Okay, there we go, we did it. Very nice. That was for some, that was some very fun missions. I think we got everything 100%, maybe? I mean, I don't know if there was a chance for an EVP. We will see that here, because if we didn't get 100% on the audio evidence, there might have been a chance for an EVP. No, we got everything. So there's no EVP on this one, I guess. Then. Gold trophy, once again, very nice. That was, so I think that they also say, I think every single ghost is no reason for concern. There is no reason for concern. I feel like when your stuff is flying around the room, that on its own is already reason for concern. It could harm you. Uh, but yeah, I guess these people are just, just like, I don't know. They don't New give client a just requested I come out and investigate their home. They live on Polk Street. I should review the map. I think we're gonna do that. That is where I have heard. I don't know if it's actually the case. I have no idea. But I've heard that there's something new to find and maybe even a new ghost there. So I think that's what we're gonna do now. However, that'll be in the next episode. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. I absolutely love this game, man. They're like, it's so fun to like build up a new world in this new game. Because we know the world of Phasma. We're used to certain returning characters. We know Lisa. We know Nancy. We know Michael Jackson, Thomas Thomas, those names. And uh, the weird, crazy Raichus and stuff like that. But it's really fun to have a different game where it feels like the depth is similarly like present. And it's just a really fun game to like in immerse yourself in and have a good time with. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it as well. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you just like it, just like it. And if you want to join the lovely game or share your chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim. Every single day at 7 p.m. Century p.m. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, let's go.